Okay, this is Nikki with ChristianMommyBlogger.com uh, here again for another little video about using your Kindle um, app for your smart devices. So if you go to Kindle.Amazon.com you can manage some of your Kindle settings there. Um, you'll see here it says, Hello Christian, my name is not Christian. Um, my name is Christian Mommy Blogger on here, but that's not my information. So you can go here to your profile not opening that right now so let's go to manage your Kindle this is where you will see a lot of your documents that you already have if you already have a Kindle site uh, or a Kindle account then you already know this this is all available here um, but over here manage your devices Nikki's iPad that's because I've already I've installed the app the Kindle app on my iPad and I've logged in so now this is this the Kindle um, function is aware of my smart device and <clears throat> right here you can see my Kindle email well I will never remember that Nikki underscore six five zero eight at Kindle.com so I'm gonna go into personal document settings and right here you can see it says Nikki's iPad and I'm going to edit and you can make it anything that you want I'm going to pause this so that my email is not public okay um, I decided it didn't matter because I realized this really cool function um, I updated my email address to Nikki who's for at kindle.com because it's an easy one for me to remember and to prevent spam, your Kindle will only receive files from the following email addresses you have authorized. So I can't get spammed by you because Kindle won't accept it. So what I've done is added my two main email addresses on here um, that I utilize. And um, you'll want to make sure that if somebody asks you, hey, what's your Kindle email? I want to send you something you'll go, okay, actually it'll spam it because I don't have your email address listed. So make sure that you tell your, you just have that friend send it to your own email and then you can forward it to your Kindle email. Might be an extra step, but it's so worth it to not get spammed. Um, all right, so we've updated everything. Um, if you have questions, there's the Kindle help forum. I strongly recommend, as somebody who gives a lot of tech advice, Leanne and I both strongly recommend Googling or looking at help and support forums before asking somebody questions because oftentimes your question is something that tons of people have had and it's answered quickly in the FAQs, the Frequently Asked Questions. So if you're not able to figure something out, um, check out the forum um, or the Frequently Asked Questions first, and then if you can't, then uh, then ask a comment, uh, ask a question in the comments, or or shoot us an email. But that is how you update some of your personal settings in your um, Kindle. There you go.